Many people talk about transforming the battery industry, but few actually do it. However, this startup seems to be on the right track. The world has been searching for a viable alternative to fossil fuels for a long time, but none of the existing options have shown themselves to be feasible replacements for fossil fuels. One of the most promising candidates is green hydrogen, which aims to replace fossil fuels in our society. Hydrogen is not a new idea for the future of fuel. In fact, it was the first fuel to run an internal combustion engine in 1806, long before gasoline. But hydrogen has a problem. It's mostly made from fossil fuels, which emit a lot of carbon dioxide. Every year, the hydrogen industry produces as much CO2 as the UK and Indonesia combined. That's why green hydrogen, which is made from renewable sources, is so appealing. It can reduce pollution and power heavy-duty vehicles that batteries can't handle. But green hydrogen also has a problem. How to store it safely and cheaply. Hydrogen is a gas that needs very high pressure to become a liquid, which makes it costly and inefficient for transportation. Imagine if we could turn hydrogen into a solid state. That's what a startup company claims to have done, solving the hydrogen storage problem and opening new possibilities for e-mobility applications such as buses, trains, ships, and cars. With solid hydrogen, you don't need to plug in your vehicle like a battery. You just need to refill it with hydrogen fuel cell, which converts hydrogen into electricity. Hydrogen is a great fuel for long-distance travel because it can power electric vehicles that have a longer range and a faster refueling time than batteries. But hydrogen also has a challenge. How to store it on board without wasting space, energy, or money. Hydrogen is a gas that needs a lot of pressure or cold to become a liquid, which means you need expensive and bulky tanks to keep it. What if you could turn hydrogen into a solid instead? That would save you space, energy, and money, and make hydrogen vehicles more competitive with gasoline or battery ones. That's what solid-state hydrogen storage is all about. It's a way of attaching hydrogen to a metal complex, either on the surface or inside the structure. The metal complex acts as a sponge that can soak up and release hydrogen when needed. There are two ways of doing this, adsorption and absorption. Adsorption is when hydrogen molecules or atoms stick to the surface of the metal complex, called the adsorbent. Absorption is when hydrogen atoms penetrate into the metal complex, forming a metal hydride. In both cases, plasma kinetics is the process that controls how fast and how much hydrogen can be stored and released. Imagine a zero carbon system that can do three things, capture, store, and transport hydrogen. That's what a new company claims to have invented, using a nanoscale sheet that is activated by light. They say this sheet can capture hydrogen from the air, store it as a solid, and release it when needed. They say this system has more energy and lower cost than batteries, and can recharge in just five minutes. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, maybe not. The company has a history of developing innovative technology that was considered too disruptive by the U.S. government. In 2009, they presented their light-activated energy storage, LAES technology, to the U.S. Department of Energy, and they were told it was transformative. But then, they were also told it was a national security issue, and their patent was put on hold until 2017. That slowed them down, but it didn't stop them. Their technology is based on a nanophotonic filter that can capture hydrogen from any source, even from smokestacks and gas streams, and solidify it in large quantities. The key is the material they use, which can absorb and release hydrogen at low temperatures and pressures. How feasible is this technology? That's the question we need to ask. SMA stands for Shape Memory Alloy, which is a metal that can remember its original shape and return to it after being bent or twisted. SMA is usually made of nickel and titanium, and it can be used for things like mechanical actuators and medical stents. But plasma kinetics has a different kind of SMA, one that contains magnesium. Magnesium is also found in chlorophyll, 
the green pigment that plants use to make energy from light. And that's why the companies can interact with light too. It can store hydrogen as a solid and release it when exposed to a laser beam. That's different from normal metal hydrides, which store hydrogen by absorbing it into their structure, but need high heat to release it. The company's product looks like a DVD player or a CD projector, and it uses a cassette canister or a disc to hold the hydrogen-filled material. To get the hydrogen out, you just need to shine a laser on it. How does that work? Well, the company says that the material has tiny pores that attract hydrogen atoms with negative charges. When the laser hits the material, it changes the charges from negative to positive, and the hydrogen atoms are freed. That's the main benefit of their system. Unlike regular metal hydrides, they don't need high heat to release hydrogen. One of the advantages of the company's system is that it doesn't need heat to release hydrogen. That's different from how hydrogen is usually made, which involves burning natural gas or using electricity, both of which emit carbon dioxide. So the company's system could have a big environmental impact on hydrogen production, if it works. Hydrogen cars may not be as popular as battery cars, but the company has a simple idea for how to use them. You just buy a disc cartridge filled with hydrogen from a store and put it in your car. You don't need any special safety storage like you do with hydrogen gas. When the cartridge is empty, you just swap it for a new one. It only takes a few minutes. Another big market for the company's system is the energy grid. The company says their system can make green hydrogen even greener. Green hydrogen is made from water using renewable electricity, like wind or solar. The company says they can store this hydrogen in their canisters without compressing or liquefying it. Then they can use this hydrogen to make electricity in fuel cells when there is no wind or sun. This would make the renewable grid more reliable and flexible. For example, they could put their canisters near a wind farm and use them as backup storage for rural areas or mobile microgrids for emergencies. The company's system sounds very promising for capturing and storing hydrogen. The company's system is not only good for storing hydrogen, but also for transporting it. They say they can ship 20,000 tons of hydrogen on a single boat by stacking their canisters. That's enough to power 25,000 homes for a year. But how does their system compare to other energy storage options? The company says their system beats lithium-ion batteries in every way. They say their system is cheaper, lighter, and more energy-dense than batteries. The only downside is that their system is less efficient than batteries, which means they lose more energy in the process. But they also say their system is better than compressed hydrogen storage, which is the conventional way of storing hydrogen as a gas. They say their system is cheaper and safer than compressed hydrogen, and that using their system could save a lot of money on fuel costs. The company's system sounds amazing, but it also sounds too good to be true. We'll have to wait and see if they can deliver on their promises or if they're just bluffing. What do you think of this idea of solid hydrogen storage? Share your thoughts in the comments section.